Hey, what's up, everybody? Carlos Gutierrez, drummer from Fuel by Fire and a Blade Killer vocalist here at uh, my apartment here in uh, Los Angeles, about to do this interview. So if uh, you want to check it out, go ahead and subscribe to Dethrone Records here on YouTube. And So yeah, man, uh, just coping with the pandemic. Uh, obviously, obviously things in 2020 were pretty crazy, uh, especially here living in the city. Just, um, it was super quiet, super different vibe with uh, nobody being out and just really quiet. And uh, you, we're used to tons of noise and all kinds of craziness here in the city. So, uh, but yeah, living here in Los Angeles, uh, it was so pretty different, man. Uh, uh, other than that, we've just been hanging out here at home with our dog and smoking a lot of weed and doing our hobbies and uh, working at home and uh, just kind of been chilling. Um, things are cool. Uh, everybody in the bands have been uh, been good. Everybody's been doing their thing. We've all been in contact and uh, we started jamming now and, uh, uh, you know, just kind of doing what we can do. So hopefully we can see you guys pretty soon. Yeah, new music I've been checking out. Uh, a lot of new music. I've been listening to a lot of reggae during this pandemic, kind of the chill vibes, a lot of that stuff. But a, a band that I'm super into right now is a band called Lettuce. Uh, they're just straight up funk groove stuff. And uh, just been listening to that. The drummer, uh, Adam Deitch, he's a badass behind the kit. So I've been uh, jamming behind my kit, listening to their stuff and jamming along with it. And it's it's just super fun to play too. Uh, another artist is Aaron Fraser. Check that. Check him out. It's really good. Really good groovy stuff. Um, as far as a as far as a, a hobby, I picked up a hobby in 2019, and uh, it's uh, growing cannabis here at home, and uh, kind of revamped it in 2020 since I was just you know stuck at home here and uh, not really being able to be able to go out much and do things. So uh, 2020, I really revamped re revamped my my home grow and uh, just kind of started really diving in and uh reading a lot about it and watching a lot more videos and just learning a lot more and uh definitely i see way better results in my in my home girl so uh yeah that's been my my listen to and my uh my hobbies uh yeah fuel by fire does have an update um we planned on releasing a four song EP in 2020, but obviously, you know, things went to shit. So uh, we started recording that one in 2019, late 2019, early 2020, world went to shit. So we picked, we weren't able to go into the studio and finish it up. So we got back in there earlier this year, finished it up and uh, Carlos Cruz mixed it and Joel Grind mastered it. So right now, all we're waiting for is test pressings to come in, so we can get a so we can approve it and get in a release date, and it'll be released through M Theory. Um, it'll be released on seven inches and CD and all uh, streaming platforms. So uh, keep a lookout for that, and uh, hopefully that comes out later this year. That's what we're looking at. But uh, it sounds heavy. I'm really excited to put that out. But um, and as far as Blade Killer. Um, the not really much going on. Uh, the only thing that we have talked about was going into the studio and recording um, a single that we have. Um, so hopefully we get that done soon and uh, get something out to you guys uh, pretty soon. But uh, yeah, and then uh, we're gonna start writing for uh, a new album. So keep a lookout. And, uh Um, yeah, brief history on Blade Killer. Um, Fuel by Fire actually started as a heavy metal band back in the day, or tried to sound more heavy metal. So just heavy metal has been a passion. I've always wanted to do a project like that. So I've had a bunch of riffs and uh, some stuff that I've had put aside. And uh, finally, when I had the time, I, I got some friends together and uh, it is what it is today. Uh, I think we released our first EP in 2014. And then we released our album High Risk in 2018 on M Theory as well. But uh, yeah, that's uh, 
that's a little bit of history on Blade Killer. Um, like I said, as far as updates, um, we plan on recording a single and uh, hopefully getting that out to you guys soon. So, uh, like I said, keep up, keep the updated. Pretty organically, we write. We we like to get into the into the jam spot and kind of throw out riffs and uh, kind of do stuff like that organically. Organically, um, things are a little different now that we're older and we are we're more spread out and we all have our own places now and things like that. But uh, um, you know, we'll write on uh, we'll write some riffs and send them to each other via Bandcamp or whatever it is, and uh, and or we'll write some stuff out and then present it at uh, our next jam sesh and just kind of go that way but as uh, for the most part we like to just kind of go in there and just jam it out i mean that's how we've always done it that's from the start and uh that's how all our albums have been written so um yeah hopefully uh we can continue that but uh you know things change and uh we got to kind of just adapt uh, so yeah that's all. Um, me personally, uh, I eat plant-based, so anything that is plant-based, um, I'm good. I'll, I'll eat. Uh, uh, usually for drink, it's just water or like uh, sparkling water for me. Uh, we usually uh, ask for beer, um, but uh, the but the rest of the guys, you know, they eat regular meat, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, just kind of some snacks here and there, and uh, and plant-based food, and drink, and uh, good time. Keep it true. The very first time that we played in Keep It True Germany, um, I mean, walking in that place was walking into like heavy metal heaven. It's just the the energy is just crazy. Um, it's just heavy metal blasting, the bands are on the stage, there's vendors all over the place, you're just seeing vinyl records everywhere, t-shirts, stuff you just can't find here out in the US, well, now you can, but at that time you couldn't, and uh, I mean, it was, it was, yeah, heavy metal heaven walking in that place, so being, being able to play there was, was an honor, so just uh and we also play we played pretty early but to play that early and it for it to be super fucking packed was was fucking kick ass and um supposedly we got the the, the first uh mosh pit at the keep it true festival nobody has ever like moshed or pitted there so we got a first circle pit there so that was pretty fucking cool but uh yeah that's that's a memorable one uh another one is opening for iron maiden slayer black sabbath aerosmith at the at hellfest being on that on that bill was amazing we got to play on the same stage as slayers share the bill with iron maiden which is a fucking dream come true and uh yeah that's and the fucking crowd was massive so that's very memorable for me and uh hopefully we get to come back and do it again and play there and uh do it again. Man, I don't know. Um, probably something along what I'm doing with my hobby, which would be uh, growing cannabis. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, music is such a huge part of my life. Uh, I've been playing music since I was 14. Um, had this band since. And... Uh, you know, so I, I can't imagine doing anything else really. Music is just a huge thing if, uh, in my life and um, I'm not sure what I would be doing, but it would probably be pursuing, uh, pursuing cannabis. Uh, me personally, I don't really drink much alcohol anymore. Um, when I do, it's beer. Uh, usually like a like an amber ale or a lager or a pilsner or something like that but uh really don't really drink much anymore uh, if it's liquor I'll do whiskey uh, maybe some tequila but uh yeah not really not really a big drinker anymore um, usually coffee I'll drink I'll, I drink coffee that's usually just in the in the morning uh, 
other than that, I don't really drink coffee throughout the day. A lot of water and uh, yerba mate. Love yerba mate. Uh, so I'll drink that. But uh, yeah, drinking tea too. I make a tea at sometimes here at night. But uh, yeah, not much of an alcohol drinker anymore. So it's asking me to show you my current setup, but uh, unfortunately I'm here at my apartment and I can't show you my setup. But uh, my current setup right now is a D-Drum Reflex. Uh, I'm endorsed by D-Drum, so it's a D-Drum Reflex uh, four piece. We got a, I believe it's a 12 inch Tom, rack Tom, 16 inch floor Tom, 14 inch uh, steel snare. That thing's a fucking beast. Um, I use all pasty symbols, pasty rude symbols. Um, I got one crash, uh, 18 inch, 17 inch crash, uh, ride symbol, which is I believe an 18 inch or 20 inch uh, ride symbol, uh, 20 inch China, and 14 inch hi hats. Um, pretty basic. I use that setup with uh, when I play with Excel. Uh, and I also used it the last time Feel by Fire played, which was funny, February 2020, before the world went to shit. But that was that was the setup that I used. But uh, continuing forward for Feel by Fire, I'd probably just add like another one more rack tom for for a five piece. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's my current setup. Just want to say uh, thanks for checking out this interview. Don't forget to subscribe to uh, Dethrone Records here on YouTube and um, follow Fuel by Fire Official on Instagram. Also, we have our uh, Facebook page, Fuel by Fire Official, and uh, Blade Killer Band. You can follow us on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook as well. Um, just keep updated on stuff that we got, and uh, thank you for the support. Hopefully we get to play some shows and we'll see you and hang out and smoke, smoke and fucking drink soon.